Hello everybody and welcome to Bourbon Adventures. Today's review is going to be RD1 straight bourbon whiskey finished in Brazilian Amberano wood. I've seen a lot of reviews online about this bottle. Some good, some bad. Personally, this is probably one of my favorite bottles I think I have ever bought. I love the sweet um, taste of a bourbon, so this one was right up my alley when I first bought it. It retails, I think in Michigan, it's I think around $70, <clears throat> between 70 and 80, depending on which store you go to or whatever, but it comes in at 110 proof. Um, this is a, it's an old distillery, but revamped distillery. Um, they just started back up in 2020, so they're fairly new. These are aged in four plus years, but then they have the wood staves that are put into the barrels and that gives the flavor. They do have a couple other flavors, a French oak and a maple, which I don't have those bottles, but I will get those because I do want to do a review on both of them and maybe do a lineup of all of them. And then they have their own, they also have their regular straight bourbon too. So my goal is to get all four and then we do a review of all four. It'd be hard to do a blind just because they all taste very, very different. And you definitely be able to tell which is which in a blind. <laughs> so let's give it a little pour. If you never had this bottle and you like sweet, sweet bourbons, this bottle is gonna be right up your alley. Oh yeah, I mean, it's cinnamon toast crunch all day long. Sugar cookie, oh, cinnamon, this thing is good. And what you smell is what you end up tasting too because it is, it's definitely a, it delivers. There it is, it's opening up a little bit. I should have poured it before the, I started the video, but Sometimes it takes a, uh, you should let your, your whiskey air out a little bit. Plus this bottle is almost gone, so I probably should transfer it to a smaller bottle. A lot of oxygen in there, so the flavors might be a touch muted than they used to be. Oh wow. Wow. I don't understand how people hate on this. This is, it's, it's like breakfast or dessert in a bottle. It is, it is so good. I don't know if I could drink this all day long, but it is, man, it is just so sweet. But you can still taste the bourbon though. So the sweetness doesn't overpower it so much that you don't think you're drinking a bourbon or anything because definitely it's 110 proof so it's got some proof on it but it's uh it reminds me of uh thanksgiving um a cold winter morning got that spiced you know almost like a spiced rum if you ever if you ever smell the spiced rum except with cinnamon but it is, it is so good. Now RD1, they are out of Lexington, Kentucky. So I'm hoping that they come out with some, uh, some other flavors. When we were at Bourbon Fest this past year, they had a booth and we went over and, you know, chatting with the, the people at the booth and stuff. And this is by far, I mean, this sold out uh, Saturday <clears throat> that weekend. We also tried the French oak and the maple and absolutely loved them. A couple guys that I was with, they ended up getting a bottle each of this. I already had my bottle and I still wish I would have got it because it was like $10 cheaper down there than it is up here. But you live and learn. This year when we go back to Bourbon Fest, I'm, I'm going to definitely be looking these guys up and hopefully get another bottle of this. So if you can find it, it's not i don't know their distribution so i don't know i don't know really know what states they're in what states they're not in um they're fairly new to michigan probably within the last 
six months. So hopefully if you're watching this video and you can get it, get a bottle of it, I say go for it, especially if you like the sweet, sweet bourbons. If you like cinnamon, because it's very, very cinnamon forward. But yeah, pick it up if you can. Hope everyone liked the video. I know it's short. These review videos typically aren't real long because I only have one bottle review and you know, it don't take that long to tell you my opinion on it and have a couple sips. So hopefully you guys all like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. Hopefully in the coming weeks, I have many, many more reviews head-to-head -head battles, uh, bourbon hunting, anything. I want to do more and more videos. So the more subscribers, the more you share the videos, and the more likes I get, the better we can grow this channel into something bigger. And I can do get a lot more bottles in my bar, and we can do a lot more reviews. So with that being said, everybody, just remember, it's not about the whiskey. It's about the memories shared and the flavors embraced. Until our glasses meet again, cheers to the next pour. Thank you.